Alright. So, uh, I figured I was just gonna, as opposed to blogging or, uh, you know, writing this uh, obscenely long uh, status message or notes or something like that, I would just kind of throw out there uh, what's going on with me uh, just to kind of fill people in. So, I have decided that uh, after uh, this, uh, this road work season, that I am going to uh, basically take off. Uh, I want to get back to the rhythm of my life as, as I want to see it, and uh, as, I, as I've always kind of wanted it to be, just kind of bouncing around like a, like a vagabond in all honesty. I, I mean, I, I know that's going to sound crazy to a lot of people, but uh, I don't know, I, I just kind of feel most comfortable just without all, all, all this stuff, you know, and uh, so part of this is it's, uh, it's going to be systematically selling off a lot of my things. Um, I assure you that I'm not suicidal. I assure you that uh, this is uh, it's quite the opposite, actually. This is kind of a me getting back to my life. Uh, not that I, I haven't, you know, been living, but, you know, I, I felt anchored in this area for a long time, and uh, and then buying this house, you know, was, was adding to that, and, and uh, I've actually come to the realization that, yeah, it's, it's cool and all. I like having it, but it, it doesn't necessarily make me happy, um, and I think that uh, given the history of my life, you know, moving around so much, that it's just uh, the the natural progression is is for me to get back to that at some point in time. You know, I, I'd be uh, I'd be working against myself if if I didn't. You know, I I, I really feel like everybody needs to do what they need to do to make themselves happy and. You know, I've been talking to people about my plans and what I'm thinking about doing, and they're all like, wow, I wish I could do that, and I mean, you really could. I guess it's just a matter of sacrifice and, and what kind of, you know, sacrifices you're willing to make and what sacrifices you, you can live with in, in order to to get happy, I guess. And I've come to the realization that none of this stuff makes me happy. Yeah, it's nice, but uh, I don't know. Kind of being on the road and not having any any hardcore uh, roots, I, I guess. I mean, I love everybody here, of course. I, I love I love Austin very much. You know, I've talked to this. Uh, I've talked to him at great ends about this to make sure that he understands. And I really feel like he does. You know, and I, I've talked to majority of my close friends about this and, and I'm not sure that they all understand but they all understand that this is something I feel like I gotta do so I, I feel like they support me in it. I, they probably think I'm crazy <laughs> but and I you know I've talked to my, my mom about this and, and I've got plans to uh, to basically sell all my things. Uh, I'm gonna have the big art show coming up uh, uh, during the art fair at the Grind, which is going to be uh, really nice. That's going to be a combination of uh, a lot of my photography and uh, a lot of uh, multimedia and uh, and paintings and, and stuff like that that I've been working on recently that I think uh, you know might be worthy of, of being shown, uh, and and hopefully I can make some money uh, doing that to kind of help me get along. The, the rough sketch of the plan is that I, I'm going to go from uh, from here to uh, to Florida, possibly, if, if everything goes well. Um, I'd like to find myself down there. I've never been down there, and I've got a good friend, uh, uh, some good friends down there. And uh, I'm going to see if I can make that work out. And then after the winter uh, season, I, I think I will uh, come back here for a little while and, and hang out. and. Uh, um, probably visit a little bit, and then from from there, uh, 
I think I will probably head back to Yellowstone. Um, I always told myself I'll go back, and then I really feel as though I should. Uh, I can't wait to go back and bring my camera. You know, I mean, last time I went, uh, the last two times I went, to 97 and 99, uh, I, I didn't really, you know, document it at all in photographs. Uh, it's really unfortunate that I, I wasn't really into it, taking photographs at that point in time. Um, but that's something that I, I definitely want to do, and that's a big part of of this whole thing too is broadening my, my photographic body of work um, through my travels, you know, uh, seeing other parts of the country and, and you know, I get in one place for too long and I, you know, you take things for granted after you've been in any one place for too long, I think, and things that were once, you know, amazing start to fade a little bit, and at least for me, I guess, and I feel like I gotta go somewhere else and you know, check that out for a little bit and see that with a new eye, you know, and, and then after I come back, then, then I then I again have that new eye, so to speak, for, for home. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going down, and so uh, after Yellowstone next summer, I'm probably gonna come back and uh, visit for a little bit, and uh, might try to make my way to uh, to Hawaii, which would be uh, really cool. Uh, got some really good friends out there too, and uh, might try to arrange uh, spending a season out there somehow. Uh, I don't know. So there's a lot of places that I've got in mind that I've always told myself I want to go, and I figured I might just bounce around from season to season and uh, just kind of see what. Uh, what life has to offer in other places. So, yep. So, uh, if you start seeing me s selling my things, uh, not killing myself. And uh, to anybody who has ever given me anything, uh, if you want it back, yeah, by all means. Um, you know, I, like I said, I, I, I'm trying to, to get to a point where I can basically carry my life on my back. And so a lot of these things, you know, I can't carry. I don't necessarily want to carry. So, uh, yeah. So, and, and, and again, if, uh, if you're a friend and you got uh, your eye on something that I've got or th that I've had for a long time, uh, make me an offer. And uh, chances are I will consider it. Well, I, I will definitely consider any offer. Uh, whether or not you get it for that offer is... Uh, to be negotiated, but uh, we'll worry about that when the time comes. So uh, make me an offer, you see something you like, uh, and, and all the artwork and everything is for sale. Um, a lot of the artwork's gonna be for sale uh, on the art fair, so, um, but a lot of it won't fit, and a lot of it isn't necessarily appropriate. Um, so if you got, you know, I don't know, in all honesty, a lot of the paintings I will probably hold on to. Um, because I am going to be build, making a website uh, for everything that is me. It's, I figure if I'm going to be doing this crazy thing, then I might as well, I don't know, get a website and try to capitalize on it somewhat with the photography, at least that's going to be a big chunk of it, and maybe selling some prints of the artwork. So, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, uh, that's the rough sketch. That's the fill you in, and uh, love you guys, and uh, I don't know. Uh, Love you. Cool.